the world's first dual camera AI powered PTZ 4K webcam. That is how eMeet are describing their new Pixie model. And having tested this thing out now and used it for a little while, I can tell you it's actually pretty impressive. Hey folks, Simon here from Simon's Reviews. Now, full disclosure, eMeet did send this model out to me so that I could test it for you. So straight out of the box, you do get the camera along with the mount and the USB cable for connecting to power. What I will say is as soon as I unbox this, the quality exceeded my expectations. It doesn't feel light and it doesn't feel like cheap plastic either. That's both for the monitor mount and for the camera itself. It does feel to be a premium build. So the camera itself, it does support up to 4K at 30 FPS or 1080p at 60 FPS. And it does utilize a Sony 1 over 2.5 inch sensor in order to capture a lot of that detail. So right now I have the webcam connected through OBS Studio, free piece of software, and you can see the quality here. I do have it set to 4K, but you can see the image from this webcam is really good quality. That's straight out of the box with no post editing or processing involved. So why is it dual camera? What's the advantage of this? Well, one of the cameras is dedicated to AI functionality. So you'll have your main camera capturing that 4K image, but then combining that with the AI assisted focus features and exposure. The autofocus is blindingly fast at just 0.2 seconds. And a lot of those PTZ features are gonna be available in software that you're already using, such as OBS Studio. But to get the absolute most out of this, you can download the free eMeet Studio app on your computer, and this will allow you to adjust the settings even further. So let's go ahead, take a look at that. Here I am then in the eMeet Studio software, and as you can see, there are a number of options right at the click of a mouse button. So as you can see, we have the PTZ controls here. You can use the black arrows, or you can just use this wheel here, or joystick, I suppose it is, down in the center, which again, very, very convenient. And as you can see, my head is slightly down screen there, but rather than adjust that manually, we can do so automatically using the tracking mode option. And now the camera will track me as I move and I'm not clicking anything here. It's doing this using the AI powered features. But if I change the tracking mode back to standard, we can actually use gesture controls as well. So if I lift my hand up here and hold it for a couple of seconds, it's now gone ahead and enabled tracking mode through the actual gesture that I just made. And of course I can go ahead and turn that off using the same gesture. Now we're back to standard mode. Privacy mode, which I won't enable right now, but that will turn the camera downwards automatically and switch it off. And then you can see later how you can set this up to come on automatically, depending on how much idle time has passed. And you can save your PTZ um, as well in these various profiles. We have a couple of other modes here, such as the noise cancelling mode. And if we head over to the effects tab, then right now it's set to default, but there are a number of built-in effects. So if I just go ahead and select Vivid, you can see that that adds the filter over the image. And of course you can go ahead and customize these to your liking. If you want to flip your image, if you have the camera, for example, mounted upside down, then you can absolutely do that. Um, or you can flip horizontally for the mirror. And then over on the assistance, you have a bunch of the AI features as well, including the privacy mode, idle time option that I mentioned to you. You can turn off gesture controls. Uh, which could be helpful if you have a lot of hand movements in your shot and you don't want the camera picking those up. As you can see right now, it's not going to do so. So if you do need to turn that off, just an easy toggle. You have script generation. If you are creating videos and want to have a script handy, then you can actually have that from within this app and it is completely free. I haven't even had to set up an account to use this app, so that's really helpful. And there's a number of uh, GPT models that you can select from. Uh, one thing you can do as well, once you've got all your changes that you want, is if you just tap the virtual camera here, put a little icon there, you can then bring this directly into your other applications such as Zoom, OBS, whatever the case may be. So you can keep all these settings that you've already adjusted within the eMeet Studio app. That gesture control is just really convenient. Now the Pixie does have an internal microphone, actually a three microphone array with built-in noise cancelling, but let's go ahead and get an example of the microphone. So this is the mic test for the Pixie camera. I have this set up about two feet away from me. This is how you can expect it to sound straight out of the box 
with no post audio processing. So yep, for Zoom calls, I think this is gonna be more than up to the challenge. If you want to do some dedicated streaming on YouTube or Twitch, then you are still going to want to use an external audio solution. But as far as web cameras go, this is definitely not too bad at all. And I love the fact that eMeet have made sure to include just some useful features depending on your use case. For example, you have a wide range of resolution support up to those maximums of 1080p 60 and 4K 30. But also you have full compatibility with Nintendo Switch 2 here. We have an aperture of f over 1.8 and a field of view of 73 degrees. But the auto tracking, the PTZ, the AI features just generally come together to create a really useful camera, which regardless of your use case, whether you are using this for video calls or whether you want a high quality webcam dedicated for live streaming on Twitch or YouTube, it is just going to tick all the boxes. So folks, that's what I think of the eMeet Pixie. What do you think? Please do share your thoughts. Thank you so much for stopping by, checking out this video. And I'll see you next time.